Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to share with you my thoughts on the Olten C045. A compact gentleman's knife that caught my eye. With its sleek design and impressive specs, it's definitely worth a closer look. So let's dive in. First off, let's talk about specs. The C045 measures an overall length of 6.1 inches with a blade length of 2.6 inches. It's lightweight at just 1.9 ounces and is a fantastic option for everyday carry whether you work in an office or you're looking for a nice dress knife. The blade is made of Bowler M390 stainless steel, known for excellent edge retention and corrosion resistance. And the Rockwell hardness on this one is rated from 59 to 61 HRC. The blade features a nice drop point, which is versatile and great for various cutting tasks. You can get it with a Blackstone wash or this nice classy looking satin finish along with that nice crown spine up top to top off that classy look. You have a swedge that thins out the tip. Great for doing very detailed precision work. And that full height grind. They call this a hollow grind. It may be a very shallow hollow, but regardless if it's a flat or hollow, it's ground nice and thin to around 12 thousandths behind the edge. That paired with thin blade stock at 0 0.098. This knife should be a slicing machine and we're gonna find out. Wow, this thing is not only incredibly sharp, it has to have excellent edge geometry because this thing is very, very slicey. You know, it's a small blade, but it's still a capable blade, as you will continue to see during this testing. Um, if I had to take a guess, um, well, I don't know. It's, it's got to be under 18,000 behind the edge, especially by the feeling alone. Um, I'll check that out for the full review. But, yeah, I always love to see them that, you know, with good geometry. It has thin blade stock. I don't know exactly what that is either. But, like I said, we'll find all that in the full review. Um, and talk about a slicing machine here. I have in hammer grip. I have enough for four finger grip and we're testing the ergos right now Here you can see that the sharp edge is grabbing the uh, the pine The pine board and just peeling it like a apple and I was kind of surprised I'm able to get way more force than I ever expected because this is a thin skinny handle so of course I am having to squeeze down tightly so it doesn't spin in the hand, but I mean, that's kind of to be expected. And as a gent's knife, does it have to be, you know, um, a bushcraft feeling knife in hand? No. Um, this is where I really, I mean, like always, this is where I could really tell that the knife had bite and it wasn't just a super sharp edge over polished edge or anything. It's really biting into the half inch sisal rope. And you can see I'm using the point of finger grip, which means the knife has to be sharp. Sorry about my dog. He just wanted to weigh in. He thought it carried nice and he thought it sliced very well for his paws. So he wants to give you all his opinion if you can't hear him in the background. But, you know, I, I swap up grips and it's not because it's uncomfortable. It is a little, you know, a little bit more challenging when you have such a small handle and such a light knife. Because it requires, you know... Certain amount of force to get through sisal rope. Now, is this a knife that you would be doing this type of stuff with? Now, you you might do it a little bit, but this is something to carry in the office. I don't think you'd be cutting a ton of sisal rope, and you know, carry during a wedding or anytime you've got slacks on, or you can just daily carry it. You know, it's it's you're not gonna feel this one in the pocket, and it can handle all these things. Just not the one I would grab if I'm gonna be doing a lot, a lot of cutting that day. But, like always, if this is what's in your pocket, this is what you're going to use, and I think it would do a great job. Um, I, it, it's doing it, and uh, you, it's got to be sharp to do that pointy finger grip, or, or I just won't get through it. And I, I am swapping up just because of, you know, the grip issue. Not really issue, but so far so good. So I, this is why I say it's a versatile blade. When you have the smaller blade lengths, even though the tip is above the center line of the uh, pivot, it's still very versatile because it's easy to get those smaller blades down with that tip. Um, passing through all this material very, very well. And I, I got to admit, 
I, I've tested a lot of M390 knives on this channel, and some of them do very, very bad, and they cost three times the price, two times the price. This one did really, really well for its price point, very well, like well above its price point. So great job, Ultons, and it was a fun one to test. Now let's move on to the deployment. With its cage ceramic ball bearing pivot assembly, it makes this one nice and smooth opening and closing with a well-tuned crossbar lock, get a nice positive deployment, nice and comfortable thumb studs on both sides. And as long as you don't have large, extra large hands, this one is a fun one to fidget around with. Always a plus in my book. Nice and comfortable tabs on the crossbar. Now moving on to the handle. The C045 boasts carbon fiber scales that are beautifully contoured, no voids in the carbon fiber, and it's a very nice, attractive, classy look. You have a lanyard hole if you want to put a lanyard there, and you have a geared aluminum backspacer, black stainless steel liners. The carbon fiber scales not only contribute to the knife being a nice and lightweight, but also adds a premium touch. The black skeletonized stainless steel liners provide some extra durability and the overall construction feels solid and well made. The pocket clip is tip up right hand carry only. Unfortunately, that's one big miss they have on this one is that they didn't have lefty carry being that a crossbar lock is completely ambidextrous. So in my opinion, the knife should have been ambidextrous as well. That way you're not secluding any part of the market. They did go to nice contoured milled titanium pocket clip. It's got a good bit of tension to it. it goes in and out of the pocket nicely and being that you have smooth carbon fiber you do want this to be a little extra strong so the knife didn't go sliding around or accidentally come out of the pocket now for some quick size comparisons we have the benchmade 945 and the volstead mini psyop it's smaller than these two and it's also a little smaller than both the volstead mini acorn and the spyderco techno 2. it's very similar in size to the kaiser yorkie and the volstead chipmunk and lastly, it's just a hair shorter than the Vossi Mini Labrador. And it's just a hair shorter than the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. All right, now for the nitpicks and complaints. I would have definitely liked to see a little bit bigger of a sharpening choil. You may have a sharpening or two before it widens up. It's hard for me to tell, but I would always rather, you know, that plunge come all the way to the back. That way, all this I can sharpen before it widen at the heel. Second, I think they really missed out on not making this complete ambidextrous carry because the lock and dual thumb studs would have made this completely ambidextrous. You have a Torx T8 for your pivot. Unfortunately, you have a T6 for your body screws and your clip screws. I wish they would have all been T8. That way, you don't have to swap out drivers. Plus, T8 are a lot less likely to strip out on you. Um, you know, is it? The biggest deal, no, not really, but you know, it, it's it's always a nice thing to see all the same hardware, at least T8 or better. At least T8 or bigger, in my opinion. So all that said, let's talk about value for the money. These come in at 138 bucks. I believe the Olten C045 offers great value for a knife of this caliper. The materials used, craftsmanship, and the overall design make it a worthy investment for anyone in the market for a compact, stylish gents knife if the 138 dollar price tag is a little out of your price range but you love the overall design i did review the budget version of the same knife however the as you can see there the budget version is a decent bit bigger so if this one if the c045 is too small or out of your price range I will link this one as well. Both of them great knives. This one's in 14C 28 inch steel with G10 and a stainless steel pocket clip. M390 carbon fiber with a titanium pocket clip. Unfortunately, this one's also tip up right hand carry only. But as a budget knife, especially if you're a righty, great option also. To wrap it up, if you're looking for a lightweight, stylish, highly functional knife, the Olten C045 is definitely worth considering. Its blend of performance and aesthetics make it a standout option. So pick yours up today. It'll be linked down in the description. It will be an affiliate link. So if you want to help support me and what I do here on this channel, it helps me pay for my testing materials. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If not, no biggie.
That's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Have you tried any knives from Olten's? And what do you think about the CZR45? Until next time, keep those blades sharp. Smile more.